Uh, now we've moved everything over to the stovetop. I've got my pressure cooker assembled with all of the filled vessels stacked inside of it. Uh, I've gone ahead and started the heat because I want to warm this up. You'll find that this thing takes a little while to get warm. And as long as we're over here, I wanted to show you how I like to fill it because as long as we have a sterilizing cycle, I can go ahead and put in some of the other items that I'd like to sterilize at the same time. Uh, here is my uh, smooth plate that we're going to be cutting the plants on later. And I'll just drop that in upside down. Scalpel and forceps, which are included in your kit. And this is foil wrapped white paper towels. And we're going to put those in here too. One more thing will be how to close this up. If you haven't used a pressure cooker before, it's very simple. It's got a lock down lid. I'm going to grab the lid here. We have our uh, lid and pot marks. So these are supposed to line up because it's going to lock down. There we go. And, and simply it locks into place. A couple of things happening here. The handles, of course, all lined up so that you can grab them. Um, if you can see the top of this, I have a few instruments here that are going to be doing their particular jobs. This is the weight that's going to actually be creating and holding the pressure. But before that starts working, we're going to have steam and hot air escape. So you'll notice for about 15 or 20 minutes, this is going to lift and puff as the water begins to roll and boil. It chases out the unsteamed air and the steamed air is then going to replace it, in which case it will lock it in the upside, upright position most of the time by itself. This is also your protection that the lid is not opened by accident when this does have pressure because there's a latch just underneath the edge here that's going to hold that in place. These two match up as a lock. Lastly, on the back of the cooker is a rubber button that is simply your overpressure uh, escape. If your pressure cooker overpressurizes and you're not around, that thing will blow, steam will come screaming out of there. Don't stand in front of it. Turn the heat off, leave it alone. I've never, ever seen it happen. But just in case you were wondering what the rubber button was. I'm going to turn up the heat and we're going to get this started.